I don't know how many videos you've trawled through of people just doing the MLG water bucket and not actually explaining how, but this video is different. This is the one you're looking for. I'm going to show you how. Now, I apologize if some of this information seems a bit obvious, but it's my aim to be thorough. First of all, you want this water bucket to be in a slot that's easy to access. If you've just whacked it in some random slot and you're not exactly sure where it is as you're falling, trust me, that might look obvious now, but the pressure's on and you're trying to scroll to it, you're going to hit the floor before you know what's happened. So put it in a slot that is easy to access. I always go for the end slot. All I have to do when I'm falling is literally wherever I am, hit slot number nine and I'm straight there. You don't even have to think about it. The second point that I want to make is your viewpoint is important. Many people change their field of view a lot because they're not quite sure what they're comfortable with and they like trying out different things. Well, you need to set along one. I'm used to my field of view, which is 90. I can run off the edge here and I can usually pull this off pretty well. However, if I'm to go back up to the top and let's say I've decided, you know what? I'm sick of this field of view. I'm going to try it on, let's say normal, 70. That might not seem like a big difference to you, but now I'm going to try and fall down here. And as soon as I try and, yep, there we go. And believe me, I tried. I tried my best. So case in point, stick to what you know. You need to have the same field of view that you're used to. Don't go changing it. Also, when you're falling, you don't want to be doing this, looking all around or looking slightly like that because that isn't going to help you click. You want your view to be completely locked vertically as you're falling. You don't want to be slightly looking ahead or definitely not in front of you. You want to be looking fully down, completely locked vertically. This really isn't very hard to do. All you've got to do is look vertically downwards as far as the camera will let you. And then you'll be in position to pull off a perfect water bucket MLG. MLG water bucket. I don't know which which way round is that said. Now our final tip is on how to actually do this successfully and there's some funny ideas floating around on the internet. One idea that I was taken in by is that all you have to do is hold down the right click button. I can assure you it doesn't work. If I was to hold down the right click button now It just ends up being a spam click. Now don't get me wrong, that could save you on the off chance, but it's not very consistent. And you can see from there that I did take damage. And on the note of spam clicking, it does seem to work from lower heights. If I just hammer the spam button, I'll probably pull one off, but that was only 20 blocks. If we take it up a few more, it's not gonna be so good. Going from the top, jump down, and I'm gonna start spam clicking now. And as you can see, not particularly effective. So basically, the way that you do this is nothing more than a well-timed click. All the other things in place, you just have to know. This is going to sound like a strange tip, but don't overthink it. A lot of this is intuition. You will just know after a bit of practice when to click that button. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get. There's no real getting around it. If you want to get good at this, it doesn't matter how well you understand the process. You are going to have to practice a bit before you get it right. Although legend has it that those that subscribe with bell notifications will gain the ability to do this with their eyes closed even in the nether. And if you made it this far, try and use the word splash in your comment and I'll read through those later. But as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.